Hi, this is Mike Fauché, um, a.k.a. PC Doc on the Home Server Show forums. Um, I wanted to walk through a program today called Always Sync. It's a uh, program that allows you to sync different folders or different shares to different devices or different systems. Um, it's been a lot of talk on the forums about the 2 terabyte limit on Windows Home Server 2011 as well as, um, you know, the... Um, some questions regarding the whole entire backup scheme and how effective it is and there's been talk about using third-party applications and so on so this is one option that you can use that I want to walk you through it's a really powerful tool it's a great program and it works really really well for doing kinda what we really need to do with Windows Home Server 2011 in my opinion so let me just kinda walk you through it show you how I use it and go from there Okay, for starters, um, first thing I want to do basically is I'm going to create a, a new job. Um, all these tabs that you see across the top here are basically sync jobs. I have a, a sync job for every share that I have. Um, I actually have this program installed on server 2008 and I'm syncing to uh, 2011. But you can, uh, the, the, the the preferred way would be to, to actually set it up on 2011 and then sync to an external device of some sort. So let me just walk you through so you can get an idea of how easy it is to set up and then we'll go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new job. So I'm going to go to job, add new job, and it's going to set up a tab at the end here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this tab so I know what it is. I'm just going to call it test for now. Okay, and there's my test tab. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to pick the two folders to sync. Um, so I'm going to pick folder number one, which I'm going to create uh, basically a test folder. So let me just put test in here. So that will be my first folder. And then in the, my second folder was going to actually be on my Windows Home Server 2011. So let me shoot over to the network, and I'm going to pick my iFi because that's where I'm going to sync up. Okay, now you can see up on the top of my two folders I'm syncing the share to a local drive and in the center here is the actual synchronization method. Now it's set up as bi-directional right now which means it'll sync up everything to, to match. It's also set up to propagate deletions and modifications which means if I modify or delete a file in one folder it will do the same to the other. Now you can change that, you can disable the propagation and you can also change the direction of sync. So I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. Um, the next thing I want to do now is just walk you through the options that you do not have to use but that are available. So let's go and click on properties. And again these are set up for, the, for each individual task so you can have different criteria for different jobs. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see is the synchronization rules. gives you a, a few options on how to, how to set up the rules. Most of the time you can just use the defaults. The one that's really powerful is the automatic synchronization where you're going to basically set up how you want it to sync and when you want it to sync. If it's a portable device you're syncing to, you can set it to, when it, to sync up when it's removed, a uh, specific period of time, when real-time where when a file change is detected, um, when the computer is idle on an application start, um, before you log off, or you can use the Windows Task Scheduler. So it's a really powerful and flexible tool. You can also, if you want to get crazy with it, you can also set up inclusions and exclusions in case you want to, you know, uh, filter out certain file types. Um, and then you've got some file versioning. Um, which again you can just use the defaults most of the time and then you've got some error handling which tells you what it's going to do with prompts based on whether you're in manual mode or automatic mode and you know again most of the time you can leave those as the defaults but they're 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 customizing options if you need them I'm going to click OK because we're done now there are two buttons down at the bottom here one says analyze one says synchronize the difference between two is synchronize will just go right to file copying and synchronizing your folder. The analyze will give you an, a, a view of what's going to be done before it's done. So I'm going to hit analyze. 
and it's going to tell me a list of files. It's going to tell me it's it's going to copy. It's going to show me the direction. It's going to tell me this file doesn't exist, and it's going to take it from these folders to this folder. So it tells you everything it's going to do. A couple things you need to know here. First of all, it's going to give me a warning because I'm in manual mode, and it tells me there's a substantial difference in the two folders because one's empty and one's not. So I already know this. I'm going to hit ignore. And again, this is something that is just telling you that you know there's a big change. I'm going to copy a lot of data over. The other thing that you're going to want to take a quick look at, but most of the time is not a problem, is um, you've got all the files, and then sometimes there are some excluded files. So you want to take a quick look at excluded files, because in case there's uh, um, things you that are excluded that you don't necessarily want to exclude. So once you're happy with, uh, with the configuration and you've seen everything it's going to do, the next thing to do now is um, hit synchronize and I'm going to do this real time so you can see how long it really takes to do this. Um, this is uh, roughly 916 megabytes of data just, sor just short of a gigabyte and you can see it doesn't take long to actually copy all those files. So let me go ahead and hit synchronize. And this is real time. It's, it's copying it pretty quickly. Um, doesn't take very long to copy a whole bunch of data and this is across my network again from one computer to another and it'll be done in just about a second or so and there it is telling me it's finished gives me this the uh, last su successful synchronization the date and I'm all done so I can choose to leave this manual or again I can set up the uh, the, the criteria for automatic syncing based on uh, whatever I that I'm looking to do. So hope you enjoyed the, the quick tour. It's a great program. I suggest you check it out. Um, it, again, this is the pro version. There's a free version that has the same level of functionality. The difference is in the frequency of use. Um, it shouldn't be a problem for most home users. In personal use, you should be able to get by with the free version. Um, take a look at it. Give it a shot. It's a great solution for backing up those movie shares or large music collections or photo collections that won't necessarily fit on the two terabyte backup. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the forums.